People across the U.S. and around the world are helping scientists at NASA, the U.S. Space Agency, with an Earth science project. Using an app on their phones, citizen scientists measure the height and width of local trees and share the data with NASA scientists to help them assess the amount of carbon being stored by trees. We're here at Bowling Green State University and I have Megan Recker. We're going to be doing a tree observation using the Globe Observer app. Are you ready, Megan? Oh yeah. Participants wow. open the app covered. and select We're trees from the four today. main tools. Go. Now in order to get the height of the tree, she's got to start with the base of the tree. Then she'll take a photo of the top of the tree. And then a picture of the entire tree. Megan then walks to the tree, counting her steps to determine the distance. 28 steps. We're going to set our longitude and latitude position. So now we have uh, the final results. Which show that this tree is about 16 meters tall. And now Megan's going to send all her tree data to GLOBE so that the GLOBE scientists have access to the measurements that Megan just took. NASA has satellites orbiting the Earth that measure tree heights from space. The data from app users complements NASA's space observations to help scientists better understand the carbon that trees either take in or release into the atmosphere. And so NASA can actually use our data that we've collected from the ground to, to monitor how good their models are. Are their, are their satellites measuring tree height accurately? Smartphone technology, the stuff we carry in our pocket every day, includes some pretty sophisticated tools that are useful for data collections. And so when we realized that the technology was advanced enough, we were able to combine those into a tool to bring the public into data collection. Using the tree tool inspired nature lover Candace Gossen to organize group hikes in the old growth forests of Mount Tabor in Portland, Oregon, and get them involved. I bring along the, the app, I bring along the phone, I explain what we're doing. Not only we talk about tree medicine, but we're also talking about how we collectively together are walking and sharing this information with the rest of the world. And so by taking the photos and sharing the information through this app, it becomes a database that anyone anywhere can see. More than 120 countries are participating in the program so far, with participants finding value in being citizen scientists. I find that students of all ages love being part of a bigger picture. When they make a tree observation, they want to see their point and their contribution on the website so that they know that they made a difference, a small difference, but a difference, that they're, help, they're helping uh, monitor the health of the earth, and that means a lot to them. Thanks, Megan. Keep doing GLOBE. Julie Tavo, VOA News.